Now we need to write the value of each digit. So that's the amount that each digit in a number represents. First, we have 92,035. So the 9 is in our 10,000s place value. So that represents 90,000. That's a 9 followed by four zeros because we can see that in our number, we have four digits after the nine. Now we have two in our thousands, so that's 2,000. Two followed by three zeros, because we have three digits after the two in our number. Now we have zero in our hundreds, but it doesn't matter which place value zero is in. It always stands for zero. Zeros don't give numbers value in themselves. What they do is make sure that other digits are written in the right place values. So that's why zeros are often called placeholders. Here, if we didn't have a zero in our hundreds, the two wouldn't be in our thousands and the nine wouldn't be in our ten thousands. But zeros don't have any value in themselves. We have three in our tens, so that's 30. And the five in our ones just stands for five. Now we have 481,297. First, we need to write the value of the digit two. We can see that that's in our hundreds, so it represents 200. The one is in our thousands, because the thousands digit is always the fourth digit from the right. Or if we have a comma in a number, the thousands digit is the digit before the comma. So that's 1,000. 1 followed by 3 zeros because we have 3 digits after the 1 in our number. The 7 is in our 1s, so just stands for 7. We have 4 in our 100,000s. Remember the 100,000s place value is the 6th digit from the right, or if we have a 6 digit number like we do here, the 100,000s digit is the first digit. So this 4 represents 400,000. That's four followed by five zeros because we have five digits after the four. We have nine in our tens, so that's 90. And we have eight in our ten thousands, so that's 80,000. We have four digits after the eight, so when we're showing the value of the digit, we need four zeros after the eight. Now, 509,413. We have a zero in our ten thousands place, but remember, it doesn't matter what place value zero is written in, it still just represents zero. We have four in our hundreds, so that's four hundred. Five in our hundred thousands, so that's five hundred thousand. Three in our ones, so that's three. One in our tens, so that's ten. And nine in our thousands, so that's nine thousand. Now we can also represent numbers, so represent the value of digits using place value counters. So first, we had 92,035. So that's nine ten thousands, two thousands, no hundreds, three tens, and five ones. Then we had 481,297. So that's four hundred thousands, Eight ten thousands, one thousand, two hundreds, nine tens, and seven ones. And it's important also that we understand how our place value system works. So if we have ten ones, that's the same as one ten. Ten tens is the same as one hundred. Ten hundreds is the same as one thousand. Ten thousands is the same as one ten thousand and 10 ten thousands is the same as 100,000. Then our last number was 509,413. So that's 500 thousands, no ten thousands, nine thousands, four hundreds, one ten, and three ones.